Hey everybody, it's Chris from Xano. I have a super quick video for you today showing you how to upload images from your Flutterflow application into your Xano database. We're going to cover how the API actually works in Xano, and then we're going to jump over to the Flutterflow application and I'll show you how to set it up there and we'll give you a quick demo. So let's jump in. So this is my Xano API that actually takes in the images from Flutterflow. I have a single input here. The input is of the file resource type, which is standard for uploading content into Xano through your APIs. And then I have a create image from file, which generates metadata for those images. And then finally, we are just adding that image into our images table. So if we jump over to Flutterflow, you can see it's a very simple demo application here. We just have one button. And let's take a look and see what this button is doing in the action flow editor. So if we open the editor, we can see we have two actions here. The first action is upload media to local file. In Flutterflow, you can set your options here to only allow photos. You can allow photos and videos. You can specify whether these photos come from only the camera or the device's image gallery. Whatever you need here is uh, totally fine. And in the second action, this is where we are calling the Xano API. So let's take a look at that API call. So this is our API call in Flutterflow. We've set our method type to post and we provided our API URL, which if you're not familiar is available in Xano by clicking this copy endpoint URL option. We have a variable defined called image. We want to make sure this variable type is set to local file. And then for the API calls body, we want to make sure to set the type to multi-part. Our parameter name for this example is file, and that just needs to match whatever the name of your input is here in Xano. You can see mine is named file. The value source is going to be from a variable, and that variable that we select is going to be the image variable that we specified in the variables tab. So back in the action editor, you can see we have our image variable selected here, and that's really all you need to do. So we can actually go ahead and take a look at this in action. Okay, so here we are in test mode in Flutterflow, so we can see this in action. Let's go ahead and click our button which will give us the option to upload an image from our gallery. So we've chosen an image, and now, of course, for this demo application, I don't really have any workflows after that API upload, but we can go back to Xano, and we can take a look at the request history for this API endpoint. And we can see this request was made at 937, which is the request that I just made. And we see our input here, which is, of course, the file that we uploaded, and then our output, which is the record that was added to our database table. So let's head over to our database, and we can see that record is right here, and there is our image successfully uploaded. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helps. Please make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. You can also visit us in the Xano community or speak to us via support chat inside of Xano. We'll see you in the next one.